This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Janet West. Hi, I'm Janet West with Broadcast Beat Magazine and we're on day three at IBC 2015. I'm delighted to be on the ETL system stand with Managing Director Ian Hilditch. Hi, Janet. How's the show going? How are the feet? Uh, feet are good. I'm really uh, feeling very perky on day three, actually. Um, okay. We cycle back from the show and to the show, so that kind of clears your legs out, so you feel fresh every morning. Hey, great, yes. And, and you uh, miss the enormous queues on the tram. No queues, no okay. sweating, no rain. It's perfect. Uh, right, so, so we've had a very nice time. Good. So, Ian, tell me. Customers coming to the stand at IBC, what are they going to see? What's new? Okay, well, ETL design and manufacture a full range of L band and RF equipment for satellite communications. Okay. So, most of our customers are using the ground side of SATCOMs. Uh, these are broadcasters, governments, satellite operators, that sort of thing. Some of the new equipment we've got, for example, is our Stingray fiber shelf. So, if you've got a satellite antenna a long way from your main equipment room, Rather than running coaxial cable, which is a traditional approach, you can use fiber and convert the signal from L-band to fiber, take it one to 10 kilometers, uh, and, uh, and use our Stingray product to do that. We've just launched a CWDM solution, as it's called, which I know sounds a bit technical, but in a nutshell, that allows you to use much longer fiber lengths, which the customer would probably have to rent, and they combine multiple signals onto the same fiber, so that saves them money. Okay, and I think moving along, we've yeah. got something else. So this is uh, our Enigma Matrix, um, which is a classic product, but used for connecting multiple antennas to multiple receivers or demodulators. So again, used by all of those, uh, those, those sectors of the SATCOMS industry. And we've started doing these at much higher frequency bands. So that enables our customers to be quite innovative in their satellite frequencies. So Enigma, fantastic product. We sold it in various forms for about 10 years, but the latest versions are absolutely cutting edge RF performance. And is this on the market now? It's on the market now. We've been, we've, we're just shipping actually the first four gigahertz units as we speak. Uh, and we've done some high performance redundant versions for some specific um, defense applications for SATCOMs. So really exciting Enigma actually. Okay, and moving along and to moving on to Piranha. our Piranha. So uh, I love you've the name. Watch, yeah, you've got to watch your fingers on this one. Um, <laughs> so this is a fairly simple product in some ways, but used for uh, so all of the satellite antennas will tend to have a thing called an LMB on it, right. and the LMB needs power, and this box provides the power for the LMB. And we've started to introduce what we call smart load monitoring here. Okay. Uh, so smart load monitoring looks at the power that's being consumed by each of your LMBs and makes sure that the power supplies are optimized for that power consumption. So it makes things a little bit more efficient, it reduces costs, it reduces environmental impact. Okay. So it's very important these days for companies to start looking at the environmental impact. So is that a key strategy in the ETL systems business plan? Certainly we're increasingly aware of that uh, from two perspectives, but generally from the energy consumption perspective. And we've got some really cool technology we're working on at the moment in some of our rather like Enigma routing products where you've got a lot of amplification available, but you're not using all of it all of the time. So we only need uh, a certain amount of the amplifiers that are in the box to be active and we switch those on and off as the paths become active. And that has a huge impact on your actual power consumption. So very important, and we're hearing that increasingly from customers. So. And, and budget, of course, with the power consumption. And budget, yes. yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. Ian, thank you very much. You've really opened my eyes as to what ETL is doing. Well, I'm Janet West from Broadcast Beat Magazine at IBC 2015.